Hello and welcome to my F123 Lamborghini Mighty and Grim Mode here today for part 71 and the British Grand Prix where we have a typical British summertime weather pouring down with rain ahead of the Grand Prix it's meant to rain for the entire race and this is the grid for it it's Lewis Hamilton taking another home GP pole alongside Charles Leclerc it's Carlos Sainz and George Russell we are P5 alongside Valtteri Bottas and it's Piastri and Enzo Fittipaldi Sonoda and Joe round out the top 10 then it's Pajer and Lando Norris Lance Stroll and Max Verstappen Gasly and Ocon Lawson and Hauger Albon and Sargent Magnussen and De Vries round out the final row of the grid so we're here on the grid then ahead of the British Grand Prix it is meant to rain for the entire Grand Prix and as this is my home Grand Prix we do have a special helmet this weekend it's a one stopper essentially unless the rain stops starting on the intermediates this is our qualifying lap where it was British summertime and was actually sunny and the purple in sector one but it wasn't enough and we start the race P5 so here we go then can we win at home for the second time the purple lights are on they're out and we're racing here at Silverstone we've got a good start despite a lot of wheel spin we're up into P3 as Leclerc takes Lewis Hamilton into turn 1 and now we head down towards the finish with defending Oscar Piastri but we're going to send it on Lewis Hamilton down into finish we're up into P2 now it's just about getting the exit as we're nearly sideways coming out of the loop now onto the Wellington Straight I think Charles Leclerc is too far up the road to have a go into Brooklands but we put a wheel on the very slippy kerb and we've gone straight off on completely off the track at Brooklands we come back onto the track at Loughborough we've nearly made contact there with Lewis Hamilton with sideways coming out of Loughborough there's no grip off the brush we've gained two places there nearly having a McLaren and Mercedes on the side of him and a Lamborghini down there into, into Cops with run wide and now we come back to the track there's nearly contact there George is trying to get his nose in got the three maggots but nearly contact there we're down to P4 after a fairly good start getting up into P2 now we're on the back door of Pole City Lewis Hamilton we're getting closer and closer we're gonna go to the outside to retake at the podium place round the outside at Stowe we get in but we've dropped the back end we're spinning round and we've been hit we've been hit by George Russell George is out of the Grand Prix he's had his front right tyre ripped off we've been spun round we've also been hit by Fittipaldi in the Alfa Romeo I believe that was the virtual safety car has now been deployed we have a five second time penalty for the incident we have front wheel damage as well and in the space of a lap here at Silverstone it's all gone wrong for us our home Grand Prix this is some replays then of what happened this is Valtteri Bottas point of view and you, you just can't see us the spray and it's just driven into the side of us and he's got some damage with that as well it was Yuki Sonoda who hit us as now he's side by side with his teammate and out of nowhere we're coming back across the track and making contact with Sonoda and then it's just a car park down at Vale as everyone tries to avoid contact there's a lot of cars in there and they're nearly turning into the M25 in the car park but okay, BSC ending. we're going you can see the damage to the front wing there, it is yellow we get racing again and we're in a massive train of cars because this is Bottas right at the front as we try not to hit the back of Liam Lawson going through Maggots and Beckers we've got on the outside of him though, we've taken him and Gasly in the, in the outplay and Lawson's got him as well as now we race down towards it's stay can we have a go on large stroll yes we can nearly contact going into stay but get the job done but this front wing is shocking 
as Bottas there, you can see, pulls off into the pit. We go down the inside of the Ferrari of Lando Norris. But we've just got a nice front wing as much as we can, but that was we were struggling with even a lap later. We just couldn't turn the car into the corners. We couldn't slow the car down in the first place because there was no grip whatsoever. And with with the front wing being damaged as well, not being able to turn the car, this was horrible. As we kept some of those behind, but by the end of lap three it was time for a new front wing we had to get this off even if this, it's going to cost us a lot of time it had to be done but we're just going to have to hope for a safety car later on in the Grand Prix to get back in it but as we trundle down the pit lane now with very long pit lane here at Silverstone we're also going to have to serve a 5 second time penalty and wait here for 5 seconds it's finally they get to work and they're not changing the front wing. They haven't changed the front wing. It's Abbey Gabby all over again. We've wasted our time boxing. We're now miles behind. Those are front with nearly gone straight into the barrier there, coming out of the pits. And it's all gone wrong for us here at Silverstone. It's taken four laps to go from fighting for P2 to being 20 seconds off of Bottas in the P20. We're going to have to pit again. We've got fresh tyres, that's not going to do anything because we still can't get the car around the corner. So I tried to keep going. I decided I couldn't. So lap 5, we're in again for hopefully a new front wing. Second time lucky. It's exactly the same as what happened in Abu Dhabi last season when they didn't change the front wing. But look, that day the safety car was out, not today. We're going to be miles off the cars in front. We mistimed it. And this time they get the memo, they changed the front wing. It's going to be a shock of the stop. Logan Sargent retires from the Grand Prix. And you can see the track map there. Leclerc and Oscar Piastri were nearly a lap down as well as we come out of the pits. We've basically gone sideways into the barrier again as well. And you can see we're now 48 seconds off of Valtteri Bottas up the road. We, we need to hope that there is a safety car to get us back in this Grand Prix. But also, the Williams and Haas' we know are slow, so maybe we can get further up. Okay, so heavy rainfall, here to stay for a while. Doesn't look like it's moving on the rain is here to stay. Lap 7, though. The gap is still job, staying around the same, but we set the fastest lap of the race and movement wing of fresh tyres. We really started to find the rhythm okay, and keep going. But by lap 12, because the Williams are so slow of Albon, we've got the gap down to 32 seconds. We found 16 seconds in 6 laps. Okay, As now, ahead, right? 2 laps later, the gap's 22 seconds. And look at that, there's a car. It's, it's Yuki Sonoda we made contact with round the outside because it's time for the stops for their one and only stop and we've overtaken someone in this Grand Prix since the very first lap Sainz is also in as well Mark says can we pull away though the answer was yes we skip all the way on to the final lap Charles Leclerc has won the British Grand Prix we've got the gap down to nick the freeze to 14 seconds after being nearly a minute behind them. We also pulled out nearly a pit stop to Albon behind. We come up to the line, we cross it, and that's P17. What a drive that was to take the win for Ferrari today. Anthony Davidson, a resounding victory today. What set them apart from the rest? I feel like consistency was probably the key today. 
There's being quick, and then there's being quick lap after lap after lap. If you can do that, you can capitalize on other people's errors without making many of your own. And that's an approach that can push you a long way up the field. And here we are, a team that is no stranger to the podium, taking their place on top once again. A sublime race today, and a stunning win for Ferrari. So that's been your British Grand Prix then, won by Charles Leclerc, Lewis Hamilton getting a lot of points on us for P2, Piastri P3, Sainz having a good result in P4 and an absolute stinker for Rush, but unfortunately you may have noticed that there was no replay cameras in that Grand Prix apart from the start and that was because whilst I was recording the replay cameras the game decided to crash so Charles Leclerc did not win the British Grand Prix Lewis Hamilton did and it's also a Mercedes 1-2 so George Russell has been let off the hook there by the game crashing he's got 18 points in a race where he should have retired Science though getting on the podium for the second time this season for us along with Monaco. Leclerc goes from the win down to P4. George Russell didn't retire but so did Logan Sargent and Esteban Ocon. Same retirements as what we recorded the actual race and then we I just retired from the Grand Prix to skip it. This is then the Drivers' Championship. The gap now 48 points to Lewis Hamilton. We stay ahead of Oscar Piastri. If the result had have been the same and the game hadn't crashed, Piastri would have actually jumped us this weekend. Lewis Hamilton is becoming a very, very tough fight. Surely it's going to go down to the wire. Carlos Sainz also P9 as well, so I think he's moved up in the points as well well down at the bottom of the championship then there's still four drivers still yet to score this season and that being Fittipaldi, Albon, Sargent who retired today and Kevin Magnussen. So in terms of the constructors then and it's a massive hit that Mercedes have done on us 43 points maximum points for them this weekend we've only picked up 15 with Science, but Science done what he needed to do be there when we're not and then it's McLaren, Ferrari, Red Bull, Alpine, Aston Martin, Alfa Tauri who have fallen from their early form, Haas, Alfa Romeo and Williams the only team still yet to score this season. So that's been your British Grand Prix then absolute shocking home Grand Prix for us. The race very dull for us we were just going around on our own after the mechanics didn't change our front wing. We go though to Spa next where we need to write some runs after what happened in Austria with that shocking weekend and then here as well not picking up any points. We need to crawl back some points. We need to find some consistency now and get ourselves back in this championship fight. Otherwise it's going to be hard to become a four-time world champion by the end of the season. But we go to Spa next, the final round before the summer break and our second sprint weekend of the season and I'll see you then. Goodbye.